the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You know, and and uh, and the like I said, the closest thing I can see to that because I'm not seeing people who are actually beaten, robbed, and beaten and left half dead. I, I don't run into them people. I run into people who who are downtrodden or or seem to be downtrodden, uh, uh, unemployed, uh, homeless. And, and such and like and 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 then you have people that I know for a fact that is their life mm -hmm. that they choose to live mm -hmm. yeah. they choose to be in that state they they choose to 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 live that way not not all of them because that they don't want to uh, be in a better position is because they don't feel comfortable around people. They, you know, they don't, they, they may have mental issues and stuff like that to where they feel safer in, mm -hmm. in, in that in that type of environment. But there's a whole lot of things. Um, I know I'm rambling and, and, but and question, going are, on. Any of those people you just said, are they, are they your neighbor? Are they my neighbor? Yeah, the ones you just you gave example of some of the people that you know they they are not change, or they're not going to change, don't want to change, or whatever. Are they your neighbor? No, the question is, am I their neighbor? Okay, that's the question. Are you their neighbor? That's and then I want to ask. I believe in some cases I am because I do, I do uh, support them. I do care for them i do have compassion for them okay okay so all of, so in some cases they're not is there any cases where they're not your neighbor well is the, i think the question again is there any cases where i'm not their neighbor because right. I'm yeah I, I i'll see a guy sitting at a stop sign and i'll just drive right on by <laughs> <laughs> okay okay you know, because I see, I see them getting, I see a neighbor being neighborly and four or five cars in front of me all handing them money and stuff. <laughs> and so I just drive by. Right. Sometimes I do get, you right. know, it's, it's, it's. What about, I guess I'm saying, for me, I'm saying it from a spiritual level, that's the same. That's a, that's a, that's a physical level of helping people in need. From a spiritual level, Who's not your neighbor? It's Who's my not my neighbor? Who, who are you a neighbor to on a spiritual level? That's, I guess, better. You saw me reverse that question. Are you? Oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a neighbor to all those that I share the gospel with. Okay, okay. Anybody I'm a neighbor you know? to those that, that I present myself in a Christ-like manner. Okay. You know, I don't have to share the gospel. It's just how they 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 see my my nature. Okay. You know, uh, I'm not I'm not the 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 man who's out robbing this dude walking from. <laughs> you know, right. I'm, <laughs> I'm not the thief. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And I'm and I'm certainly when it comes to uh, spiritual things, you know, I have to question if, if, is there, has there been times when I just didn't even acknowledge somebody and not share the gospel? Or there's, there's times where I saw somebody and thought maybe I should share the gospel and, you know, noticing them and then going on or is there sometimes I have compassion on somebody enough to share the gospel with you? Right, right. You know, in a, in a manner that's going to uh, 
be meaningful. Okay. Okay. But I wonder you know, instead of just saying, you know, how you doing? God bless you. That to me, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that's the Levite to me. <laughs> oh really? Did it say God bless you? God prayer sometimes is uh some people just ask for prayer too, right? That, that... I'm just being honest. <laughs> that, that's that's just a, a passing greeting now. Woo. You know, don't doesn't have no meaning behind it in most cases. Um, so you noticing somebody? That's that's when it says he looked on him. <laughs> oh, no. You know, that's 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 me. You you you're you just happen upon somebody, and you notice them. It's it's not the <clears throat> it's not the priest who don't say nothing or okay. even acknowledge that the person exists. Okay. You know that that's that's me. That that's how I see that. Wow. Uh, but wow. there's sometimes where you just start up a conversation. Okay. Okay. You know. That's and, interesting. And, yeah, I, I, I guess I wonder. So, 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 so. Uh, yeah, I agree. There's different. Those are different types of uh. To the the, the priest is. Some people, because I just said they're all representative. I put down here the priests and the Levites are representative of God in his temple. The church today is a representative of God, right? Because we're ambassadors for Christ, right? I mean, right? That's true, right? The, 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 uh, we are ambassadors for Christ. They were ambassadors um, or representative of God in the temple. You know, I, I tend to be a little careful when I say church now. Okay, right. I got now. you. Right. I said ambassadors of Christ. We are ambassadors of Christ. Yeah, we, the, the we are people, representatives, right? You know, like like we say in, in in the ministry, you know, we are the church. Yeah, yeah. You know, not not the building. Not the building. Because <laughs> the right. building, the building reminds me of the the priest and the and the uh, Levite. <laughs> Right. On, on, on many occasions, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That, I like that fact. You're right. These are representatives. That's why I was trying to put that that inferring that the representatives uh, of Christ, just like I said, and I put in my said I said priests and Levites. This, this is the case. Jesus said certain priests, right? Yeah. The priests and the Levites represent uh, represent God in the temple. Some of those who call themselves saints. However, some will refuse to help those they receive are left for dead and won't repent. That's how I'm looking at that. Like you're saying, is whether you are you gonna do anything towards people? I have a question. Yes, sir. I'm just curious. Just for my uh understanding of how you're thinking about the text. Yeah. So where 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 in the text do you get uh made in my image? The uh a certain man because the man was the it's the man that was attacked, right? It's a man that was made in all man was made in the image of God. So that's all to say it's a certain man. That man all mankind are made in the image of God, right? Okay. From the beginning made in his image. God has said image of God. Made in my image. All mankind are made in his image. This is where I get that from. For a certain man, then you know, all mankind are made in the image of God. That's where I got that from. The man was made in the image of God. He was attacked. And that's what's inside the text. He was attacked. And he was left for dead. And I took it from a spiritual perspective, spiritually dead. From, you know, take the, if you take the parable, because he's, he's talking about a heavenly principle, right? And therefore, I'm talking about from this spiritual principle, this man was spiritually dead. And then ignored, obviously, that's in text 30, 31 and 32, ignored by God's representatives. Is where I got all that from. Man, man is made in his image. All mankind. Attack, the devil attack, spiritual attack, physically attack. That's the spiritual condition of the person, left for dead. 
that or came from that. Ignored by my representative, verse 31 and 32. And then, because I, I was in the little 18 verses, I mean 18 words, I just put down bottom line is kingdom neighbors help neighbors. You know, but as in, I couldn't fit in there anyway, but I didn't, I think intentionally not to say kingdom neighbors on that other side, right? I said kingdom neighbors, right? Help neighbors. That means, to me, that implies not everybody are kingdom, in the kingdom, but they're still your neighbor. Is how I look at. It. Hey, Elder. Morning. How you doing? Did you have any? You have, did you have a CIT for that? I didn't get the CIT. I sure did. Sure. That's okay. That's okay. You know, and, we, and, and, and my my bottom line for this parable was really that that I really noticed in here right off the bat once I started looking at <laughs> uh, these different people. You know, like a certain priest, you know, a Levite, and then a certain Samaritan. When I started researching that, this, it really basically represented to me that Christ's interjection into the, uh, the church. The church, yeah, I agree. Is, is him establishing the, the new covenant. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it was him shaking up the uh, the foundation, you know, the yeah. priest and the Levites. Right. Him switching, switching from that to, you know, it's the, the Samaritan. Yeah. So it was just a representation of Christ's ministry. Yeah. That's all that was. Yeah. That, that was my bottom line take on this, is this... This Samaritan is Christ. Yeah. And yeah. that was it. Yeah. That the, the, the Samaritan is the neighbor and the neighbor is Christ like. Uh-huh. And mm -hmm. and that's that's that was it. That's what I wrote. That was my main statement. Yeah. And uh and that I just did some more some more research, but that was my main focus in that ties right back into my original CIT, which is what I thought we were supposed to do was to look at our CIT wow. and then see how this parable fits into that. It does. I didn't know we were going to write another CIT for this particular parable. Well, you know, I think, I think it, it, he was, when we were talking about then uh, using the, the first one to be practical in any type of uh, scripture we're trying to look at. What is what is the central, what is God saying, right, in those parables or in his scriptures to us, right? That's the intent behind it. To, to, to dig deeper and, and try to get at a spiritual level, what is, what is he saying, right? And that's what you're saying is that God is saying this Samaritan represents the new church. Yeah. This, this, and he he didn't care about, and the reason I wanted to, to start off with about the, the man that was attacked, because what is Christ saying about the unrighteous? And I do like the fact that you put in the fact is well, what also what is the church doing or should do for those people that are considered spiritually dead. Do we do the same? Right. Do we do the same thing? Is that he's showing this? These people, the, the representative of the Old Testament. That's how they did. It. If you're not, a, if you're not a Jew, for one thing, I ain't got nothing to do with you, right? That Samaritan was. It's, it's, you are outside of the camp. That's yeah, and, and 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 it just shows that the church is concerned with the church. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, not with, not with the the, the person who's been beat <laughs> half to death. Right. You know, it's it's all within inside those walls, and whoever else comes within inside those walls. Right. Uh, not to to perfect 
those that are inside the walls to go outside the walls and be the good Samaritan. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's been switched, <clears throat> so to say. Yeah. Uh, uh, at least Christ's uh, example for the church has been changed. And uh, in in my understanding, yeah. Well, well, it's yeah, like yeah. if 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 the uh, the man left for dead can't make it to the church, he's just he's yeah. just left for dead. Exactly. <laughs> right. 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 So so that's 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 basically what yeah. what I'm seeing. Exactly. How the church is operating. I mean that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was, right. I agree with you. you. Know, and 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 I mean, and it really shows the priest and the Levite. If they're they're not gonna, if he can't make it to the church, then he's just he's just left there. We going on the other side. Exactly. We going on the on on the other side. Yeah. Uh, and, and if 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 my God bless you can't can't or be blessed or <laughs> can't can't get you to come to my church, then you just. You just left for dead. Yeah, for hell, right? You so, know. <laughs> uh, but like that's I, not that's not what what Christ is saying. He's saying no, it is not that way. It's not. That it way. is. You treat that person where he's at in yeah. his environment. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear me say something? Yeah, I had a question. So, oh, so the last, the last part says, uh, uh, kingdom neighbors help neighbors. Yeah. Okay. So, so let me make sure I understand what you're saying. So let's, let's move this thing inside the kingdom there. Yes, sir. And. So, so inside the kingdom, how do you define neighbor? Yeah, those are the Jesus Christ, the personal Lord and Savior. But you know that the other one, the other kingdom bishop, I mean the other neighbor, even though I couldn't fit it in there, is really intentionally left as a person that's not in the kingdom or the person to be in the kingdom. So I'm saying is the, the Bible, the scripture we're talking about in John, it said, love one another. That that's that's his intent for us to be one and love one another. Okay. And that goes back to the the, the statement that the Lord you gave, love the Lord that God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and all thy mind, and love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh -huh. Fits into the great commandment, the new commandment the Greek Jesus gave us, to love God and to love one another. However, I, I even though I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to put the the, the that neighbor help out of help that neighbor help neighbors. I'm that that would have left that in that way because everybody is not in the kingdom of God, but God is sending us to go minister to them, right? Because He said, "Go preach the gospel to all the world." So he he said that's that's our, that's our calling because that was his calling. He came to save the world. That's what I'm saying. So, kingdom neighbors are people inside the body of Christ. Okay, so that's that's everybody. That's that's every. What, well, I want to I want to I want to distinguish that. I'm saying kingdom neighbors is everybody who sees Jesus Christ. Okay. But the other side of that neighbor. That other neighbor is everybody. Is what I'm saying. Everybody else is that is the others. They're not. They may not be saved, right? Because we we not called. Remember that brother Asa said it earlier. He said, "I didn't come to call the righteous, but the unrighteous." So, so neighbor is everybody. Period. Everybody. Period. In both cases. And where? The first one, kingdom neighbors? Kingdom neighbors are born again believers. But the other neighbor is everybody in the world. 
that he wants the church to go and minister the gospel to the to the rest of the world just like he did oh, no. that's how i was looking at that i mean that that's the whole purpose of even with ellen doing the street ministry that's the whole purpose of he ain't going as he's not going to ask the person are you kingdom people because if you are then i'm gonna talk to you He's going and talk to anybody who wants to hear and receive the, the gospel. And, and and I think, you know, it's funny, I'll give her ask this question, and and and, and y'all can look at it, think about it is this 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 guy that was attacked, he was stripped of raiment so that you couldn't even identify whether he was a how many, I don't know if y'all, but how do you tell between a a Samaritan and a Jew or Hebrew. See, it, it, Samaritans are the ones who have married and come. But they're not the ones who mix with the Romans. Yeah. Like we have mulatto. Okay, but I you think you, you, I think they probably since they, they were to have Jews anyway, right? If they, they were half Jews, they were half Jews and half Roman, I think. Uh the Samaritans. I mean Syrians something like that I think but the point was that they were he was stripped of his clothing right half left half naked I mean his raiment was stripped so how did they know whether that was he, he intentionally left out of that and go back up to it he intentionally left the you see verse 30 he intentionally left the identity of that person out of the uh of the beginning of that parable. You see that, Bishop? Look at it. Verse, verse 30, which was stripped him of his raiment. And once that happened, how do you know whether that was a Jew, Samaritan? Well, well you might know that was a Roman, right? If that's a European. Was the focus on who he was or was it on the focus on the Samaritan? The Samaritan, we could tell who that was because he was the one that was offering uh, the, the assistance. Yeah. We don't know whether the guy was a Jew or what. He yeah. never, I don't think he ever disclosed in, in, the, in the parable whether the guy was a Jew or not. Exactly. That's why I was saying is that that kingdom neighbors help neighbors because you don't know who that neighbor is. And as far as Christ is concerned, that doesn't matter. What matters is the first part of kingdom neighbors, the people that's in the body of Christ, and what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to go out and help, you know, minister the gospel to the world. And I'm saying this, this he left, this guy was stripped, he stripped him of his raiment. To me, I'm saying that when that, when that Levi passed, I guess the question I'm asking most is what, if that guy was a Jew, Recognized as a Jew, would that Levite have passed by him? I think it would have. Yeah, the Levite would have passed by him because he wasn't interested in whether the guy was a Jew or not. He was interested in whether he was going to defile himself by dealing with him. Dealing with him. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, he was headed for the temple, you know, something to that effect. When, yeah, he was. And he didn't want to defile himself by dealing with somebody that could be the dead or something like that. So he, yeah, let's see where, where was he going? Uh, in this particular, the Jews were the means by which people came to know the Lord. That was the repurpose of our ways of God. The Samaritans were rejected of the Jews because they had inter they had intermarried with other oh, races. Right? Yeah, right. So the people that who had rejected, who had been rejected, actually showed more Christ-like, more God-like behavior than once you actually had been given the task of showing the behavior yourself. Exactly. They, they were examples of righteousness in the earth. Right. But the ones that they deem unrighteous were the ones who actually show the righteous behavior. Exactly. That that that's the that's the part about it. And then like I said, the man of the attack, he, he the identity of him was left out altogether. But I do know the parable that was coming after this one was where you actually had two people went into the temple to pray. Mm -hmm. And one went in there justified just like a lawyer and said thank god i'm not like the brother you're right is that this parable is covering 
all the grounds at it to a degree. Cause, yeah. Because when I went, this is one, this this is one elder when I put down in that parable about the uh, <laughs> the people trusting themselves, and and why I think he was trying to this once again. I think he was trying to tell us don't fall into this this pattern. Luke 18:9, 9, and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And they despise others. The Samaritan was despised, right? By the Jews. He was despised. But I don't know about the man who was attacked. That's the piece that's going to be a mystery. But all I know is that even if he was, like I think you said, that elderly, he was, even if he was a Jew, they still would have went right by him. Because the people that went into the temple, when I was an actor, did the same thing. Two men went up into the temple to pray. They'll, you, if you want a Jew, you weren't even allowed to go in there. Or you shouldn't have been allowed to go in there, right? One of the Pharisees, huh? And the yeah, other yeah. Republican. Republican. And the Republicans were Jews who worked for the Romans. Exactly. Tax collectors. And the Pharisees stood and prayed. He's a, now, being a Pharisee, he's actually a religious leader. A religious leader stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. And that's what I'm thinking, uh, but I asked him about the man that was stripped in raiment, right, and left for dead. Mm -hmm. That he was viewed as these people, extortionists, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. <laughs> I fast twice a week. I give tithes all that I possess. And this publican? Now, now that switch now. Me. And, this, and the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much his eyes unto heaven, but smoke his breast, saying, God, be merciful. Look at this. So that, that, that goes to that same parable again. Be merciful unto me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than others. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Samaritan humbled himself, representing to me Christ. The Pharisees and the Levites, or the priests and the Levites, represents people who feel justified in themselves. Because a humble person would take pity on, you know, he could have been somebody who'd been attacked himself before. I think one of the things that happens is that as we grow in, in our knowledge of the word, we sometimes exalt ourselves uh -huh. inherently. So it says, knowledge puff it up. But uh, what does it say? The spirit gives us, I can't remember the end of that script. Anybody remember the end of that? The knowledge puff it up, but. It's, it's some, well, I forgot that one. Yeah, I but it, you know, but, but it, if we, the knowledge I think that we should, as we acquire knowledge, our humility toward Christ or our submission to Christ should grow. Yeah. Which expresses itself more so in humility and obedience. Right. And servitude, humility, obedience, servitude should be the, the marks, I think, of a Christian because they were the marks of Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes we exalt ourselves beyond servitude. That's what these guys appear to have done. Yeah. Uh, the Samaritan didn't get above servitude because he was still willing to serve that guy, whether he was Jew or Gentile or whatever he was. Right. And these guys, this other, or the other two that we're looking at in the temple right now, yeah. one guy had already judged himself as being righteous, and he began to look at other people's you know, flaws and judge them in accordance with what he was doing. And what he did, exactly. To me, I, and it's an indication that he took his sight off of, and for us to take, we take our sight off of Christ. Yeah. When yeah. we stop looking at the Lord, it's easy to find fault in one another. Yeah. But there's some things that I do that might look better than what somebody else is doing, but then there's some of the things that I, they do that look way better than I do. So we look at each other and start judging each other in the corner with each other. Yeah. You know, inherently say like, you know, hey, I ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And I think that's what he's trying to say, because technically I was thinking this side, this parable, this is similar to the man that was on the wayside, on the road. That, 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 that guy that went to pray looked at that guy inside the temple. Benjamin said, I ain't got nothing to do with him either.